All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Uh, Y'all can see I'm not out on the water today. Unfortunately, the week this week has been terrible weather here in Virginia, just all over the place. Been like upper 50s, low 60s, and I mean we're almost into June, and it's just it's been raining. Weather's just been absolutely crazy. But anyway, I got in something that I ordered for my motor today, a skeg guard. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. And the reason I got one of these, I fish rivers a lot. And y'all can see that I've knocked some chunks out of my skeg here. So I'm going to get this thing installed. And I did order the one that has the little plate on the bottom. You can see it has the little plate here on the bottom. And I'm going to get that thing installed. And we're going to see how easy it goes. It's supposed to be super easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get it on and kind of show y'all how to do it. And uh, maybe it'll be a quick, easy install. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. All right, so the tools that it says you need are a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, a rubber mallet, and that is to tap it up on your skeg here. And then it doesn't say you need it, but I need a sanding block because I have some rough edges right here where I hit some stuff. So I need to sand them down because if you have rough edges, it won't go up on your skeg good. So let's go ahead and sand this thing and get it where we can get it up on there. All right, so I think I got it sanded good enough, got all the rough edges off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the skeg guard out of the package and bump this thing up there and uh, see how it fits. So basically in the, in the package with the skeg guard, you have a bottle of red Loctite thread locker and you have two different size screws, I believe, to um, compensate for maybe how thick your skeg, your skeg is because it says you have to finger tighten them and make sure they tighten all the way to the side of your skeg guard before you tighten them up. So let's take this thing out and let's see what we got. All right, so got the skeg guard out. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. I wasn't sure what kind of head was on this other side. Couldn't see it because of the packaging, but you're gonna need a, a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna need a large flathead screwdriver on this side. So let's get these out. And this is made out of stainless steel, so it's never gonna rust or anything like that. And I got this offline for, it was right around, I think it was like a hundred bucks ship, so. All right, so you take this and you slide it onto your skeg onto the bottom of your skeg and you push up and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bump it with a rubber mallet up onto your skeg because it fits really tight all right so let's see let's see how that bottom plate sets with the cavitation plate there as far as levelness it's fairly level it's a little bit a little bit at a downward angle but not too bad it shouldn't shouldn't affect the performance so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and drill through and get that done So we're gonna drill through with a quarter inch, quarter inch drill bit, just like it says. And it basically says use the skeg guard as a template and the, your skeg is aluminum, so it's easy to drill through it. All right, so we're through that one. Now we'll come through here. Did you that just good. It? How did it just break? Oh, it got stuck between there. All right, so I had a little malfunction. My drill bit broke off when I was drilling through the skeg on my last hole, but I was able to just get that out. So now I got my two holes drilled, my two quarter inch holes. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my screws and I'm gonna put them on both sides and make sure everything fits good. And I can finger tighten everything up. 
and it's supposed to fit snug to the skeg. The screw has to go all the way tight to the skeg. Finger tighten. That one looks like it's going to be good. And this one looks like it's going to going to be good. Yeah. All right, so basically what I do now, the installation's done. I just take the screws out. I put some red Loctite on them and tighten them up. And like I said, it comes with the red Loctite right here. So I put that on there, tighten it up, let it sit for 24 hours, and then it should be ready to roll. So anyway, thank you for watching. That's how you install a new skeg guard. It's a really cool product made of stainless steel, and it will protect your skeg. If you do a lot of river fishing like I do and hit a lot of stuff, this is what you need to put on your boat. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time on Gunfish TV.